Hello everyone, it's me JB from Eric Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you 5 best free photo and video gallery app for Android smartphones. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, on the first list, we have Google Photos. Now, open the Play Store. Now, on the Play Store, search for Google Photos application. As you can see on the first list, Google Photos, just click on it. Yes, I've already downloaded and installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. So, you firstly download and install it. So, after installing, just click on Open. On opening the application for the first time, you will see its user interface. Now, below you can see here in the bottom, it's written Photos, Church, and Library. You can search the photos depending upon the dates, even the taglines, or even the names using the church and if you click on the library it will display all the picture files or the video files that are available in your respective android smartphones so this is the user interface and on the app you can see you can just favorite the respective photos that will be shown in the favorite folders even you can get the utilities to edit or use different tools for editing your respective photos or videos and even you can archive and even there is a bin that is a recycle bin if you delete it it will just move it to the bin and after that you can restore it back from the bin or by going to the bin you can delete permanently all the files that is the photos and videos that are available on the bin that you can delete so let's open one picture file say so when you tap on it, you can see a uh, lots uh, four different icons in the below. That is the bottom bar. Now the first option on the left side is the share button, and the second option is the editing tools button, and the third number is a Google Lens, and the fourth button is a delete button. So when you click on the second button, you'll get a tons of tools to edit your photos as you can see here below lots of tools crop edges filters and more so using these tools you can just edit your respective photos or videos and even there is some more options like enhance warm cool if and you can crop you can rotate you can adjust the size of the photo if it is not properly aligned then you can just arrange the alignments you can just rotate the photos and once you are done you can see a save copy you can save a copy also and even if you don't need you can click on reset again so there's lots of options to edit your photos and videos using this free of course application name as google photos so this is the first applications on the list and I will highly recommend you to try this and the good thing is that it's from the Google itself. So try this application if you have not never tried. Now on the second list we have the camera roll application. So once again open the Play Store. In the Play Store search application name as camera roll. Just search this application as you can see on the first list again just click on it. Like before, I have already downloaded and installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. So, you firstly download and install it, and after that, just click on open. On opening the application, you will get to see this kind of user interface. So, it has a very minimalistic user interface, and I will show you one thing. The three dot icons on the right above corner, just click on it. You can see here some options. Now, you can click on this settings. And under these settings, you will get different options to for customizations of your application's user interface. Now, one thing I would like to highlight you here, you can see here a style, just click on it. Now, under this style, you will get different layouts, how you want to display the user interface of this application. So you can use the first one also, just click on it. And once you move back, you can see this kind of parallel style user interface so if you don't like you can just move back to the settings again 
and you can click on this style just select the different styles if you like this one or this one or this one or this one so there are almost five different styles layouts for this applications user interference so if you want this then just select this and click ok move back it will just use that user interference layout so by going to the settings you can change a lot of like a teams also there's a dark team light team and a black team also and depending upon the different options also you can see here if you don't want to show the videos then you can just turn off the option for videos and there are some more options you can see like maximum brightness camera shortcuts styles cards so there is a virtual albums options also so you try and check out by yourself and one more thing i would like to highlight here is you can see here hidden folders so you can create a hidden folder also and if you turn on this hidden folder option then you'll be able to see the app uh, that is the pictures and the video files which are stored in the hidden folders so there's not much features in this photo and video gallery app named as camera roll but still there are some options and which are very useful say i would like to show you one tool here that is available so you can see here in the bottom you will see a pencil like icon right just click on this and select the camera roll and here what thing i want to show you just when you try to crop right and when you click on done then it will automatically save this file on this format so it won't save as a copy so it will directly replace once you crop those pictures then it will directly crop the pictures on the respective file and it will auto save the file so be careful one thing if you try to crop using this camera roll then it will directly crop and you will be unable to revert it back so if you need this kind of cropping tool which directly crops and automatically saves a file then this tool will be very handy for you so try it out by yourself so on the third list we have the gallery go applications so once again open the play store and search for the application name as gallery go so you can see in the first list gallery go by google photos just click on it like before i have already downloaded and installed it so you download and install it firstly after that click on open now opening the applications just click on allow click continue now it will directly display all the photos and videos that is available on your android smartphones so it's very minimalistic and simplified version of the original google photos but still it has some features also like the original google photos now you can see on the right top corner three dot icons just click on it you can see here settings so here are some options very minimalistic options only one option that is to set the team if you want the dark team then you can just turn on the dark team and nothing much more options here now below you can see your folders if you want to see your folders then you can see in the folder layout formats which looks much modern styles so here there is not much features i already mentioned you since it is a simplified version of the original google photos but the good thing is that it consumes less memory and consume less ram also so let me show you by opening one photo still you will get some photo editing and the video editing tools like you can see auto when you can click on the edit then there is tons of filters if you directly want to give a filter to your respective pictures or videos and even there is a crop option and a rotate option so here almost the some useful filters and like the tools for cropping and rotating the picture as well as the videos options are available so try it out yourself so on the fourth list we have the one gallery app so once again open the play store in the play store search for this application name as one gallery so you can see on the first list just click on it like before i have already downloaded and installed it so you download and install it firstly and after that click on open 
just click on green access click on allow now it will display all your photos and videos that are available in your respective android smartphones so it's also very minimalistic looking gallery applications so on the top you can directly see a video folder event uh, favorites and even you can log some pictures and videos under the log folder so it's also very minimalistic looking designs and you can see once again you can see on the three dot icons on the right top corner just click on it and you can see here create album layout sort settings even there is a premium version also but don't worry you won't see any advertisement here but if you go to the premium portion you will get some special features so if you want that then you can purchase the premium version so when you click on settings you will get some options like to set a password even you can change the language even there is a recycle beam to trace you can see and even you can create a hidden albums also and even you can change the theme to different like dark and light themes and even you can set to the auto mode also now let's open one pictures so here also like the earlier two application which i have shown before you can edit here also there are some options to edit you can see like crop rotate scale even you can edit the colors like filters even there is some more options like exposure highlights shadows lots of useful tools for editing your photos and videos too so try it out yourself just too now on the fifth list we have the gallery ad free application so once again open the play store now search for this gallery ad free so here you will get, uh, get to see a tons of gallery ad free application right just scroll down below now here you can see gallery ad free by iMessages just click on it like before I've already downloaded it downloaded it so I'm not going to do it again so you download and install it firstly after that just click on open just click on allow now it will directly display all the photos and videos once again like with earlier applications so this too has also a very minimalistic design and you can see on the above right corner uh, choose options to choose different photos and videos and the next to it you can see a camera icon so you can just click on it to use your camera applications and just beside that you can see a three dot icons just click on it and you will get a tons of options here sort by filter media different options like temporarily show hidden files and increasing column count even uh, in the last option you will see a settings under the settings also there are huge tons of settings options that you can use by yourself so i'm not discuss much here so you try yourself so this is also a very useful applications and let's try again like before let's try to open one application that is let's try to open one pictures now here also you will get a option to edit so let us see what are the options now you can see here some options like you can just crop different layouts not much features are here there's some minimalistic to crop and give some filter effects these are the only features available under this application so try it out by yourself this too so i have shown you almost all the five best free photo and video gallery app that you can try on your android smartphones so if you find any difficulty in using any of this five best free photo and gallery applications then you can leave your comments below i'll try my best to help and guide you with your problems so if you find this video tutorial useful click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to your channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching